kids! Today I'm reading Olivia Saves the Circus, written and illustrated by Ian Falconer. Before school, Olivia likes to make pancakes for her new little brother William and her old little brother Ian. This is a big help to her mother. After a nice breakfast, it's time to get dressed. Olivia has to wear this really boring uniform. Of course, you can always accessorize. Beep, beep, coming through. Vroom. Today is Olivia's turn to tell the class about her vacation. Olivia always blossoms in front of an audience. One day, my mother took Ian and me to the circus, she begins. William couldn't come because he still has to nap. But when we got there, all the circus people were out sick with ear infections. Luckily, I knew how to do everything. I was Olivia, the tattooed lady. I drew the pictures on with markers. Then I was Olivia, the lion tamer. And Olivia, the tightrope walker. And I walked on stilts and I juggled and I was Olivia the clown and I rode a unicycle. I was the flying Olivia. And Olivia, queen of the trampoline. Boing, boing. And for the grand finale, Madame Olivia and her trained dogs. They weren't very trained. And that's how I saved the circus, and now I am famous. Then one time my dad took me sailing. The end. Was that true? Olivia's teacher's, teacher asks. Pretty true, says Olivia. All true? Pretty all true. Are you sure, Olivia? To the best of my recollection. Gracefully, Olivia heads home. How was school today, darling? Olivia's mother asks as usual. Fine, says Olivia. What did you do? Asks her mother. Nothing. <laughs> it's bedtime, but of course Olivia is not at all sleepy. Good night, says her mother. Good night, Mommy, says Olivia. Close your eyes. They're closed. Then go to sleep. I am asleep. And remember, no jumping. Okay, Mommy. Olivia, I said no jumping. Who do you think you are? Queen of the trampoline? Maybe. The end. Thanks for watching.